All right, guys, here's another Vlogamous favorite channel shout out. This is my girl, Kayla, and sh this is her YouTube channel, Kayla Shorter. She's awesome. I have been watching and supporting her for a few years, about three years now, and she has all the vibes. You want cozy fall vibes. You want festive summer vibes. You want cozy Christmas vibes. Go to her channel. She is so amazing at editing. She shows her life. She's very relatable as well. And I don't know how she doesn't have hundreds of thousands of viewers because she is on that level. But she's awesome. I love her. She just switched apartments this year, which was a huge thing. She got a new car. She shares everything, her journey. Go enjoy. Never, not for Christmas. No, but on the on the phone. The it is is that for what's that for? Oh, are you live? No. This tree looks really good with the vehicle, eh? I know it's sturdy too. Like That's what you need. One. Yes. Yeah, that fell a couple of times. You just gotta walk by it. Hey, you guys. So, of course, I'm over here visiting my mom and dad. And mom had this set up last time for my birthday. And now it's all christmas -fied. But look how darling it is. This is literally so cozy. This is just their entryway. It's beautiful. So when she's fully finished decorating, I get to do a home tour. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? On to us, a savior is born. This is so sweet. And my mom is just getting ready to make um, tuna melts in the oven, so we'll go watch her cook. Uh -huh. So this is the tuna that doesn't taste fishy. Right, Mom? Is that what you said? Or is it a different one? 
um, solid white tuna. Apparently, it does not taste fishy. No. Look at her cute LL Bean um, red plaid sweater. So cozy. Buffalo check. Yeah, very, very cozy. Look at her. She's so cute. Now, my mom, like 99% of the time, she eats minimal. She eats very healthy. Like, she's super tiny. Look at her. <laughs> so, this would be a really healthy. You put mayonnaise in it, Mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You got your oven heating? Yeah. Good. So, yeah, she was just craving like a tuna melt in the oven, something like That's comfort amazing. food and toasty and cozy. Healthy. Yep. The sun's out today. It's beautiful. It's chilly, but it's beautiful. Want me to get the mail? Uh, I have to get those because I'm on okay. butter on my yeah, she's doing it on the English muffins today. Yum, oh, yum, 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 yum. No thanks, Mom. You got it? Okay. So she has olive mayo, right? Isn't that olive mayo? Yep, made with olive. Extra virgin olive oil. I remember growing up, so when dad would get home from work, mom would always have a beautiful supper. Always. And anyway, sometimes at night dad would get hungry and he would just be craving a toasted egg sandwich that my mom would make. And they were always the best, eh, Mom? Mm -hmm. Always. You guys wouldn't think an egg sandwich could be so good. Dad likes his burnt. His egg really? burnt. Yes. Oh, so the yolks busted then. No, he wants it burnt. Wow. I wonder why. Fried and it's, fried. Uh, it's disgusting if you get an egg that's not fully cooked or if there's a shell in it. That turns me off. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> She's going to get her pan. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the pan way. What kind of cheese is she using today? Oh, Tex-Mex. I buy whatever he, he gets me. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I, I thought it was already cut. I know. Sometimes they are pre-cut, but you still got to cut it anyway with the knife. But these ones aren't cut. I don't see where they're cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, healthy, tasty lunch. Ew, no thanks, Mom. <laughs> Sorry. You make me almost feel like it tastes yucky. No. There, I think it looks better without the flash. Look at that. Well, she's very generous with the tuna. And let's see if she's as generous with the cheese. Yeah. Are you putting your spice on it, Mom? Or no spice. Just keep it simple. No spice on it. What? Um. The chip. The one that I gave you. Dad, I gave you the 500 gigabytes. I never got it from you yet. Oh, you didn't? 
Oh, sorry. The 500 gigabytes was from Amazon. I don't remember. But that's way too big for the the car one, Mom. That's way too big. Oh, look at that, guys. Look, she put the shredder. No, gig. It was gigs. No, it was gigs. Okay. Just using groceries that we have, and I'm making homemade fish cakes so that I can put them in the freezer. I did up mashed potatoes with dill, salt, pepper, and summer savory, some butter, some oil, and once this fish is cooked and crispy, I'm gonna mash the fish into the potatoes and do um, fish cakes. Fish has been cooking for quite a while. Fully cooked. I have my potatoes all mashed and ready to roll. My plate out. So I'm going to make some homemade healthy fish cakes. And it's going to be delicious. Excuse the fan because the fan is on. So you just want this fish to be broken up nicely into these mashed potatoes. The key is make sure you have your butter in there, your spices in the mashed potatoes. Um, most of the time I do put a full onion when I boil my ma like my potatoes to mash them and it cooks the onions nicely. But this time I didn't add any, no onions whatsoever. I'm just using what we actually have in our home, in our fridge. And so that's why no onion, but it's still gonna be amazing. All right, so. This, my goal is to make four beautiful fish cakes, but you guys, I'm gonna be freezing this. We're not having this for supper. I'm making it to freeze it. And it's such a good meal. You can cook it for breakfast or have it for supper, but you wanna take a nice big handful, a little bit more than that. Sorry, you wanna do it into like a snowball and gently squish. Just gently squish it down. Make sure your edges are all together. But we got fish in there and salt and pepper. Summer savory, some dill. There, we got one made. I think this one has a lot of fish in it. I picked up a couple big pieces of fish in it. Yeah, see? Just gonna push that in the mashed potato. Now, my mom uses egg to kind of keep it together, and I did not put any egg whatsoever in here. But sometimes you do need to add egg. I really didn't want to add egg if I didn't have to, so. I'm trying to see, I wonder if I'll be able to get four, I don't know. So I'm trying to make them all pretty big size here. But these are jet packed with flavor. It's not the first time I made it. I've made these before. My husband absolutely loves them. And freezing it does not ruin any of the taste. You do not lose any taste. Oh, yay, we're gonna have enough for four. What a blessing. I'm so grateful that we have some good groceries and especially now with the prices of everything up. So I've been like cooking at home a lot and I'm really trying to make wholesome home cooked meals. I mean, there are times when I do processed stuff, like we'll have chicken nuggets or the processed fish and fries, stuff like that, but I really do try to cook stuff like this wholesome and homemade. It just makes all the difference. Sorry guys, I'm just rinsing out that pan. I will be right back. Alright guys, look at four nice big fish cakes. 
and I am going to sprinkle on some of the pink coarse Himalayan salt right on the top. And like I said, these are going in the freezer. So I'm going to get out. I'm going to wrap them with this first. And then I just have the dollar store freezer bags. These actually work really nicely. I've never had any complaints with them. And they're affordable. It's a dollar, dollar twenty-five, and you get twenty large zipper seal bags. So just fold it like that. Alright, there, now I'm going to leave it open and let it cool, and then once it's fully cooled, we'll freeze it as is, but there's four beautiful, big, thick, homemade fish cakes right on here. Ooh. So you guys, I made mashed potatoes earlier, I put some spices, a little bit of olive oil, a um, little bit of butter. And now, then I just put them into cakes and I am frying them up. So this is going to be with our bass of fish. And all that I have on the bass of fish is flour. And once I get it into the pan, I will add uh, pink Himalayan salt, cracked black pepper, and dill spice, dill weed. And it's going to make it so good. Dill goes so well with seafood, with whatever, and then I made homemade tartar sauce in that bowl right here. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, this is what is for supper tonight, and I was able, with the other part of the mashed potatoes, I was able to do four big fish cakes. The other ones have fish in it. This one was just the leftover mashed potato, which is still gonna be absolutely amazing, but I want it nice and crispy, and yeah, so we're, we're gonna have a good supper tonight. And then we're going to go for a drive and look at some Christmas lights, which I'm really looking forward to. But there's our two plates ready for supper. Of course, you guys already know about all the Christmas decor. <laughs> but for anybody new, I'm just going to give you a quick little taste, a kitchen taste. This is my theme. I really love it. It's just so cozy in here at night with like everything all lit up and Oh yeah, and it's smelling good right now because we got supper cooking. So I'll be back once I throw the fish on to cook, guys. Ideally, these would not fall apart at all, but for whatever reason, maybe I was supposed to put the egg in it, I don't know. Um, they're not perfectly staying together. Aww. For the most part, they are okay, and they're going to taste good. It's not going to hurt the taste. It's just, you know, I want them to look good, too. They're kind of squished them together. But see that beautiful crispiness on that side? That's what I want for both sides. And then we'll put some fresh oil and do the fish. And the fish, to me, is as healthy as it can be. It's a very, very light flour coating, and I'm just cooking it in olive oil with some salt, pepper, and dill. So... But yeah, this smells divine. I wish you guys could smell it. Okay, guys, so I got supper on the go, but I'm going to open this package. I honestly have no idea what this is. I, I do not know if it's something I ordered and I forgot about, which is a possibility. I don't, I don't know what it is. It has my name and address and everything. I don't remember ordering something like this. And I messaged one of my girlfriends because we're doing Christmas gift exchange. I have three girls I'm doing it with. And I messaged her because I knew she was sending one soon. And I just wanted to make sure this wasn't from her so that I wouldn't open it off camera. And anyway, it wasn't from her. And the thing is, I'm going to open it on camera anyway in case in case somebody sent me this. I don't know. It would be one of my friends who would have my address if they sent it to me.
but most likely it's probably something that I ordered and completely forgot. I just don't know what it would be. My aunt, my best friend, she's having something sent to my home. She ordered it for her husband as a Christmas gift. But I know that package, like that's clothing, so it wouldn't fit in here. And then I put it away because I don't like working with the work knife, dear. Oh, okay. Oh, I ordered it. This is our lights, Christmas lights. Oh, I thought it was going to be something fun or gingerbread -y or something. Okay, this is just lights. It's two sets of lights. Okay. Well, that's nice. This is from AliExpress, and it's 10 meters of clear, soft lights. Okay, but still, it's something I ordered. I just wasn't sure, and I didn't want to open it in case it was from somebody. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, guys, this is what I have cooking over here. Some beautiful bassa homemade fish. And I always cook it. That's going to have such a beautiful crisp on it. I'm pushing it to make sure I'm getting all the water out of it because it was on thawing, but it wasn't fully on thawed, so I want to make sure this is really, really cooked. I should have my Christmas apron on. I have enough of them. So I'm just going to let this side cook for a good while. But all that's on it for the batter is flour, salt, pepper, and a little bit of dill. But look how crispy and beautiful that looks. Right? I'm going to do some steamed broccoli to go with it. But here's our potato cakes that I also made. Yay. So that's looking mighty delicious. Yum. the supper how beautiful it is so steamed broccoli with butter pink salt um potato cake and the fish with the homemade tartar sauce this plate here is for my hubby it's gonna be good and cupcake and cocoa are having the same thing they're gonna have fish potatoes and steamed broccoli yummy giant tiger they have such a beautiful selection of cute Christmas things for everybody. Look at this adorable pink one. Isn't that so darling? And this is 18. They make it so that everybody can afford to look cute. It's cute with the zipper. Oh, they have cat ones for cat lovers. Look at it. This one is a little bit longer. Hold on. I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, that's festive. That's actually really cute. And then they had a tree one. Yeah, that's cute. What's this one? A tree one. And then they have some tops like this for $10. Wow. Now that's sweet. That reminds me of Hallmark. Cute. For 10 bucks. Pink tree. Of course, they have all the plus size, and I can't believe it. They're the same price as regular size. 10 bucks. That's really good. I love this bubblegum pink. Oh, this one's actually a darling too. The navy tree. Really, really cute. Oh, look at it. They have gingy. That's really cute. And then they have... Oh, this is sweet. So this is um, some mistletoe some ornaments, they have some hot chocolate mugs, a candle, like wreath, that's cute but busy, and then this one is just cute, I have this one, but for 10 bucks, you can't go wrong guys, wow, what's the red one, oh the 
gingerbread ones. That's actually really cute. Oh, green is the Grinch. They have Tweety. Tweety is 17 though. What's this black one? The Grinch. Alright, let's just see what the red is. Okay, I'm not a gnome person at all. They got all kinds of plus size leggings for $10. Nope, $12. It just said, oh no, it's 10 Yeah, but they have the red. Oh, good, you found our, look at trees, and then they have Santa, and then they have, ooh, this is festive. It's the long style top, so it covers anything you don't want showing. Look at the hot chocolate. That's cute. That is actually really darling. What is this one? This one, how much are these by the way? The long ones are 12, well worth it, but they, they're extra long so they cover, what's this blue one? Okay, any blue fans? 12 bucks. You got a really nice shirt that's really long. Ooh, I'm gonna have to call my aunt. What's this one? Love, peace, and joy. And it's long. And look at it. This is really, really sweet for 16. That's a 3X. The blue says sparkle all the way. What's the gray? Oh. Okay, like seriously, isn't that just darling? And then they also have, oh, that's cute too. I think these are probably 16, yep. Wow, I gotta call my, <gasps> you guys, look at, I have a very patient hubby. Isn't this cute? That's an oversized sweater for 20, but it's the pink car loaded with gifts. Okay, this is Darling, 24. Look at the little beads on this. It's long, so that covers problem areas. They also have it in gray for 24 bucks. That's really, really cute with black leggings for like dressier vibes. Wow. I got more longer tops. I'm loving 14 bucks. That's it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's purple and it's long. This would be just cozy with, they got different colors. They got that color, blue and gray for 14. Like, look at all their sweaters and plus size. They did really, really well. Good job, Giant Tiger. There's more longer shirts for 16. Those are nice too, with a cute pair of jeans or leggings. And then they got all their Christmas flannels. They got the red one, and then they also have the navy. 22 bucks. Really, really cute. And again, these ones are the longer ones. Wow. Oh my gosh, these ones for 16. It has a little puff sleeve here. A couple little pearls. And again, with the long, it's longer. And they also have it in the blue option, which is so, with a snowflake necklace, that would be so darling. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at the purple leopard print. Again, long. It's beautiful. 18. Even the sleeve has the cuff. They have like all different... Like, look at that. Wow, Giant Tiger did really, really amazing. Look at that. Okay, so I think my bestie would love this. It's her favorite color. They have two different shades. Actually, that is Darling, too. Look at that. 16 bucks, guys. Look. Oops. Robert, call 224, please. Robert, call 224. Like, look at it. Look at it. the v-neck has the cuff long it's beautiful and they have those colors 
Okay, for my bestie, hello, did you not see this? They have black and they have the red. But look at this for covering. They have the long tank top attached. And it is only $20. That's it. M plus size. So it's long, red or black. Look how pretty that is for if you have to go anywhere dressed up at all. They even have black leggings, different um, textures. Wow, look at it. They have something here for everybody, even the black sequins dress or those tops. Well, I'm impressed in a good way. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you a haul that's going to have all pink, cuteness, gingerbready, bakery themed clothing or wearable items like a purse or, you know, hat, mitt, scarf, whatever. But it's going to be all pink, girly, gingerbready, bakery themed. Okay. This is something I picked up from AliExpress. Cute little cupcake keychain. How adorable is that? And it's small. It's just bakery themed. Super cute. And I love that it has like bubblegum pink top. We have a pink heart and then it has the like sea foam green on the bottom. It's just super cute. And then I got this for the tree. So this is gingerbread ribbon. Look at how darling it is. And it's quite big. But look at we have the jube jubes. We have the red, green, and white striped candy cane and all the gingerbread things. So this is sweet. This again was AliExpress. And I wanted to open this with you guys. I started to open it and I was like, no, let's hold it so that I can show all of you guys. I'll move it here so that you see one at a time. So there's two um, items. This one here, both of them I had custom made because sometimes I'll think of something in my head and it won't be, like I can't find it. So what I do is I send it to AliExpress and they digitally print it out for me. Now this is 6XL in the Chinese sizing, which means Canadian 1XL. Wait till you see how stinking cute this is. This is a hoodie. Let me just move my things over. Can you guys already, are you already falling in love with it? Isn't that the most darling Christmas hoodie that you have ever seen? It is so cute. So we have hot chocolate, the mugs, and then we have the ginger, or not the gingerbread, <laughs> the snowman in the mug, and there's the baby. They're floating in their hot chocolate. Like, look at how sweet. This one has two babies in it, the marshmallow um, snowman, and look at the adorable pink and mint green. Yeah, mint green. That's what it was. Um, look at how darling this is. So say if there's something in your head that you really, really want and you can't find it, custom make it. It's very affordable. And I've been doing this for years. So front and back is both exactly the same, just so that you guys can see the quality. And it's not those temporary stickers. I know that's a big thing now on t-shirts and on sweaters. The the iron-on stickers are the ones that you can buy on Shein. But after so many washes and dries, that can start peeling off. This is actually printed right on the fabric. And look at the color. Like, that is so darling. I just definitely had to share this with you guys because it's a 50000 So let me just open it up to show you it's even better. There, just so that you get an even better view. So you see it has the hood. Look how nice and big this is. It's beautiful. And then, of course, it does have the pockets. Wow, the print goes all the way into the pockets. That is awesome. Anyway, it's so cute. It's snow cute. Snow cute. <laughs> I had to. But, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. So I do have one more of these custom sweaters that I can't wait to show you. And these are really, really wearable. They're durable. They're not that, like it's a light material, but it's thick, it's quality. 
and also it washes and dries really really well so let me just show you the second one all right i'll give you a sneak peek so you kind of can tell we're in the pink pastels again and for anybody who's new here i am definitely through and through gingerbread on pink pastels anything bakery themed that's just i mean you know <laughs> And this, I got this sweater from Shein, and it's actually a long one. It goes past my bum. And then I just, I bought these prints on AliExpress, and you just iron them on. And I've had this, this is my second year, and it gets a lot of washing and drying, and it it's good. But like I said, this is ironed on. So after so many washes and dries, it, it has the opportunity to peel. But this is the second hoodie but it is gingerbread. The other one was the snowman in the cup. Again, this is the 6XL on the China, China sizing. But yeah, look at how darling this is. And it is like a 3D print in pictures. Like it's all wrinkled right now, but once it's washed and dried, the wrinkles will be gone. But look, at you can kind of, it looks like you can see all the icing and that it's like, knitting and comes out from the from the sweater but look how darling it is the colors again with the pink the soft pinks and the mints like that's so me and this these are like kind of yarn trees but they remind me of cotton candy look at how darling right guys all the colors here all the sweet bakery vibes is here and of course the gingerbread so we got it. And I just wanted to share this with you. I will show you more gingerbread things because, you know, tis the season and who doesn't want to be cute. So I just thought you would like this because to me, when I seen the actual print, I had to buy the prints on Etsy, which was like $3. I got them on sale. It's just like a digital download. And then yeah, then AliExpress prints it out on the hoodies for me. But you can get t-shirts made, hoodies, cardigans, all that stuff. And I'm sharing it with you. I don't get paid by AliExpress or Shein or anything. It's just something that makes my heart happy and I get excited for. It's such a different, unique style that I thought if you guys had something in your mind that you want it made, why not share this with you? So yeah, I hope that you are enjoying. But did I show you the back? I don't even remember. It's just as darling. Yeah. So really, really cute and cozy. You can't wear this and not be like a little bit happier. You know what I mean? Say if you were a five today. When you put this on, it's bumping you up to like at least an eight. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'll be right back. Coco. Miss little grump under the blanket. Cupcakes beside her, not even bugging her. You guys missed her little hissy feet. I think it's all good now. She could lay down. Yep, she can lay down. Under the covers, there she goes. Look at these two cutie pies. They're snuggled up. They got their cozy winter sweaters on. And they're snuggled into each other. They're baby girls. Okay, guys. So I feel like I got a lot of progress today. I gifted up a lot of gifts. All these are not even ours. They're to go. Um, but I did. You guys can notice the theme. I picked out the most adorable Christmas bags, of course. Lots of pink, lots of gingy, lots of sweets for all the girls. Like, look at the Santa. This is for my aunt, and she loves Santa. So I got her the Santa cookies. This is for my cousin. Look at how adorable that is. And then, of course, you guys know my other cousin, Ellie. This bag here is for her. How stinking adorable is that? So I'll be delivering that soon. I'm filling out cards right there. I need to get my cards mailed, but so far those bags got to go and I'll show you. I don't want to make you dizzy. I hung up the girls stocking. So both of these stockings are for both of them. Everything that's in it is for 
both cocoa and cupcake, but this one here and this one, and they are cloth bags that my mom gave me a few years ago. And I just decided to turn them into little stockings for our girls. They do have stockings, but I prefer these. They're just so darling. I love the color. It just goes with anything. Did I need to show you anything else? I don't think so. I just don't want you guys to get dizzy. So yeah, um, on the bags so that these bags can get more use than just one-time use. I did not do any writing on the bag itself, but on every gift, I took a piece of paper. I wrote who it's to, who it's from, and Merry Christmas, and I just taped it onto the handle. That way, it's easy to be ripped or cut off, and they can still reuse the cute bags because, you know, trying to save the environment one step at a time or one bag at a time. But how cute, right? And then this one is for a guy. So, you know, couldn't do the pink, but that's still darling. And then there is another black gift bag there, very classic. But for the most part, it's like gingerbready pink bakery, you know, all the cuteness. <sighs> all right, guys. So I got one batch in the oven. My hubby is having two pita pizzas and a pita garlic fingers. He was just craving garlic finger, so the way I make it, I make it different than probably everybody out there. I use a thin pita crust, which is this one. Very, very little scrapings of Caesar dressing. Then I am I put my shredded marble cheese, but I don't put a lot. And then I just top it with Parmesan and herbs. And it is one of the best garlic fingers. Hey, boo. Yes, He's saying, yes, it is. I don't know if you can hear him because we're decorating our tree, but these two have to go in the oven. So on this pita pizza, there is the Caesar dressing as the base, then the cheese, fresh tomato, fresh red onion. There's fresh green pepper, hamburger, and a drizzle of barbecue sauce. And the only difference with mine, I have no meat and I added pineapple and what's that called? black olives to mine because I'm a pineapple girl on pizza and I love black olives. Oh yeah. And you can see on mine, that's a little crumble of feta cheese. Yes. And then I saved some hamburger for the girls. It smells divine in here guys. So I have everything all cleaned up, but we've got all of our Christmas lights on and we're decorating the tree and watching. We got the TV on. It's just so cozy. So cozy. I feel really accomplished to have gotten the gifts all wrapped. That's another gift to go. It's not being finished being wrapped yet, though. And I got to haul out my Christmas aprons. I only have one out so far, guys. I'm behind, but let me just show you. My hubby patiently waiting. I'll show you guys. Look at this. See, this is the pizza. Oh, my back. Oh, the pizza in the galley here. Oh. <laughs> I have a little too much fun. But I'll show you guys random ornaments. Oh, my hubby's getting on something different. He doesn't like my music. No. See, this is our Christmas ornament bin, and this is our tree. And my hubby got his special hockey ornaments from over the years. So, first ornament. Oh, right. It's not going to be this one. We have a special one to put up. Guys, this is a very special ornament. My husband thrifted it. Dear play it. It's Stompin' Tom. Good old Canadian Christmas. Hockey. I know that's awesome. That's just, wow. So we're just picking out a couple of our favorite. This is our angel. When I bought her, she was missing her hand. 
and I didn't realize it at the time, but that's okay. She just kind of looks homemade, even though she's not. And I love, I love how imperfect she is. She's the most perfect angel to top our tree. Oh, there, my hubby's getting out his hockey ornaments now. But we love decorating the tree together. This is one of the ornaments he got me. Was it last year or the year before? This was the year before, wasn't it? Because you got me the couch last year from Friends. Yeah, yeah, and you guys, this year on Shein, they had the um, turkey pillow from Friends. So super, super cute. seven-year-old baby. Hmm? Yes, you're beautiful. Cupcake. You're a little baby, too. Yes. She's nine months old. And they're besties. They're best friends. We all need each other. Hey, girls? Yes, we do. Isn't it beautiful? It's by no means perfect at all, but it's perfect to us. <laughs> <laughs> 